I'm going to build an automation on Agent Hub that processes research papers like this and extracts key pieces of information from it. I'm going to start by building an automation. I want to read that file, so I'm going to drag in a file reader. This node has access to the files I've uploaded, so I just select attention is all you need, the paper I've uploaded, and now I want AI to extract information from it. So I'm going to use the extract key information node, and I'll drag the contents of the file reader into it. I want to use GPT-4 to do this extraction, and I'm going to specify that I want the paper title, title of the paper, and then I also want the first author name. Now I would have both of these values available here when I run this automation. I want to format them with a combined text node. This is just the string formatter. And then I want to output this. So I'll drag it into an output node. I'll hit save. Paper processor. This automation. All right, now if I hit run, it's going to run this automation step by step with data flowing from one node to another. OK, and here's our output. Now, uh, this automation can also be triggered via your own web app if you wanted to trigger via webhook or schedule it to run. It could be running on any sort of input data. If we wanted to upload a zip of thousands of academic papers and run the same automation on them, we would use the zip file reader. We could also get files from Google Drive. We can scrape websites, scrape Hacker News, uh, scrape your email, um, watch YouTube videos, Reddit, you name it. And you can output this information wherever you'd like. So you could use the webhook to output it in your own web app. Or you could use our data writers to post to WordPress, send to Slack, send an email notification, out output to Notion. Um, all of that's possible. One interesting feature that I wanted to show is our user view. So this automation here is quite confusing for someone who doesn't know what's going on. But user view makes that much simpler. So I add an input node. And I describe it as, I want this to be called file, sure. And uh, this is the academic. And then I'm going to make it a file type. And I'm going to hit save. And now this automation has an input node. So if I go to user view, I have this dynamic UI that I can embed in my own website or send to a friend, where all they have to do is select the academic paper they want. And the output is there, ready for them to, to use. Uh, thanks for watching.